dear friends today in our reflection let us listen to the words of some famous saints on the holy spirit the first one is saint basil the great a great church father saint basil was the one who in his book de spiritu sancto wrote extensively about the holy spirit and defended the doctrine that the holy spirit ranks with the father and the son a passage from this particular work even if you can conceive of anything beyond the ages you will find the spirit yet further above and beyond and if you think of the creation the powers of the heavens were established by the spirit the establishment being understood to refer to disability to fall away from good for it is from the spirit that the powers derive their close relationship to god working of miracles and gifts of healing are through the holy spirit demons were driven out by the spirit of god the devil was brought to naught by the presence of the spirit remission of sins was by the gift of the spirit the resurrection from the dead is effected by the operation of the spirit next listen to next saint irenaeus in this passage saint irenaeus explains the role and work of the holy spirit through vivid imageries here he compares the holy spirit to water and rainfall these are his words This was why the Lord had promised to send the advocate. He was to prepare us as an offering to God. Like dry flour which cannot become one lump of dough, one loaf of bread without moisture, we who are many could not become one in Christ Jesus without the water that is the Holy Spirit that comes down from heaven. and like parched ground which yields no harvest unless it receives moisture we who were once like a waterless tree could never have lived and borne fruit without this abundant rainfall that is the holy spirit from above through the baptism that liberates us from the change and decay we have become one in body through the spirit we have become one in soul next let's, let us listen to the words of saint john mary viani take in one hand a sponge full of water and in the other a little pebble press them equally nothing will come out of the pebble but out of the sponge will come abundance of water the sponge is the soul filled with the holy spirit and the stone is the cold and hard heart which is not inhabited by the holy spirit next let's, let us listen to the words of pope saint john paul ii in fact saint john paul ii was one of the very few popes who dedicated an encyclical to the holy spirit The name of the encyclical is Dominum et Vivificantum a passage from this encyclical Through the gift of grace which comes from the Holy Spirit man enters a new life he is brought into the supernatural reality of the divine life itself and becomes a dwelling place of the Holy Spirit a living temple of God For through the Holy Spirit the Father and the Son come to him and take up their abode with him in the communion of grace with the Trinity man's living area is broadened and raised up to the supernatural level of divine life man lives in God and by God he lives according to the spirit and sets his mind on the things of the spirit in other word St John Paul the second says Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to create more space for God in us He was also the one who spoke so much about the Holy Spirit in his general audiences 
for example we are going to listen to his words given to your general audience on 2nd september 1998 through the power of the holy spirit jesus gift of himself to the father in his death and resurrection becomes the source and model of every authentic human relationship with god and with one's brethren by joyfully fulfilling the father's will in every circumstance of life after christ's example and in the power of spirit the christian advances on the path of authentic freedom and looks with hope to the time when he will enter into the full life of the heavenly homeland finally here are the words of saint paul of the cross you cannot love jesus if you do not possess the living source of holy and pure love namely the holy spirit let us end the collection of these reflections with a prayer of saint john paul the second to the holy spirit holy spirit and seat of wisdom help us in the great endeavor that we are carrying out to meet on a more and more mature way our brothers and sisters in the faith through all the means of knowledge of mutual respect of love may we be able to rediscover gradually the divine plan teach us constantly the ways that lead to unity help us all to proclaim christ and reveal the power of god and the wisdom of god hidden in his cross how greatly i desire to entrust to you all the difficult problems of the societies systems and states problems that cannot be solved with hatred war and self destruction but only by peace justice and respect for the rights of people and nations amen